pinakaunang short track speed skater na nag-qualify sa prestigyosong Junior World Cup sa Netherlands. Kilala bilang friendly at charming, kaya naman ang lahat natutuwa sa kanya. Ngayong hapon, silipin natin ang kwento ni Hans Buemio dito sa Live Better. Dahil sa kanyang good looks at toned body, hindi naman nakakagulat kung bakit madalas mapagkamalan siyang isang celebrity. Pero ang artistahing athlete na ito ay bidang-bida, hindi man sa pelikula, pero sa speed skating. Sa katunayan, si Hans ay naging pinakabata sa mga unang batch ng mga skaters na natuto ng short track speed skating dito sa Pilipinas noong taong 2017. I started short track speed skating back in 2017. But um, I wasn't really doing that much good since we barely had um, proper ice time. We would only train madalas like twice a week, or, like usually just once a week, and um, it's just like Saturdays or Sundays. At sometimes, um, at most times, uh, na kahanset pa puin training namin. So we were like really held back compared to the other competing countries. Fast forward, um, post pandemic, I started uh, skating again at February of 2022, and that's when the Ring started opening. Um, it was first at uh, MOA, Mall of Asia, and mid 2022, SM started opening, so we, we trained here. I've been training for only um, every Saturday and Sunday lang po usually, but recently lang talaga kami nagkaroon ng Wednesday and Thursdays na weekday training. So we really started off as twice a week. Yeah, just really training with Coach Kevin and having other, also having um, other foreign coaches to visit here in line with the Philippine Skating Union and PSC. Um, thanks to them, they uh, host training camps here to invite other professional coaches and experienced um, skaters to help here to conduct a training camp. Yeah. Kabilang sa kanyang career highlights ay ang pagiging kauna-una ang grassroots speed skater ng bansa na nag-qualify sa Junior World Cup na unang ginanap sa Netherlands. Gold medalist sa 1,000 meters individual race sa 2023 Southeast Asian Open Short Track Trophy Manila Series. Gold medalist sa 1,000 meters at 1,500 meters individual race sa Indonesia National Open Short Track Speed Skating Championships 2022. At bronze medal finish sa 1,000 meters individual race at 2,000 meters mixed relay sa Southeast Asian Open Short Track Trophy 2023 na ginanap sa Singapore. Aminado ang 16-year-old athlete na sa lahat ng sports na kanyang sinubukan. Ang adrenaline-pumping sport na speed skating ang naging angat sa lahat. I've tried different sports like nag-basketball ako, nag-soccer, uh, hockey, and tried different really hobbies. Tried lots of hobbies and um, I found short track speed skating really unique compared to the other sports. And um, the adrenaline that you get once you're in there, in the moment, once you're racing there, It's different, but everything's hard. All sports are hard, but I also found skating really fun for me because I found it when I was like really small and I always wanted to like, skate fast. So when I found out about short track speed skating, it's really just racing around and going fast. So yeah, the adrenaline there is like, it's really, really fun. Para mas maging bihasa sa speed skating, masipag mag-research si Hans tungkol sa mga tips and tricks kung paano siya mas mag improve bilang isang atleta. Before I actually started off as a speed skater, I researched about food, about how to properly um, maintain my body uh, physically. Muna, like I really started off as like doing bodybuilding as a hobby before I like fully focused into speed skating. Since I want to have that good body, you know, so focused on having muscles, getting my nutrition in, proper sleep, proper rest. And when I decided to fully focus into speed skating, that's when I implemented all the things that I've learned into what I've researched about in food, rest, and I've also started researching about proper training routines, also online since I don't really have like um, a professional coach and proper intensive training abroad, unlike what the other skaters do. So I just research on my own, check online, and um, I also ask like um, the other skaters that I meet um, internationally to Um, ask them about their training routine, some advice, some help, and yeah, apply them on my own to be able to train properly as much as I can. 
dahil sa magandang potensyal na ipinapakita ni Hans. Nakatutok sa training program niya si speed skating head coach Kevin Villanueva. In terms to training program kasi, um, ngayon kasi ay nasa stage kami na kung saan we have, we're preparing ourselves na mas mapalakas pa yung endurance niya. So, ang drills namin for a couple of, uh, from start, starting January hanggang May is puro endurance pace and training. So, long distance training ang pinapractice namin para pagdating sa competition, when it comes to competitions na, he can keep up. Kasi nakita na namin yung results. Yung nag-assess ako sa kanila nung last season and yung ano yung weakness nila doon, kung saan sila mahina, doon ako nag-add ng uh, attention para pagdating sa next uh, upcoming competitions namin ngayong taon, eh, yun yung magiging uh, kumbaga dati naging weakness eh ngayon sana maging ano namin, uh, kumbaga special. Paano kaya niya binabawasan ang kanyang kaba kapag naghahanda para sa kompetisyon? I don't drink um, or I don't like take any caffeine for about three months before competition since I don't really want that to like affect me during the race since it's also a big thing like once like you're in the line it gets really nervous and before the race starts they go like go to the start when they say ready and you move you're immediately out of the race so you can't even like flinch even the smallest bit so if I do have caffeine sometimes like I'm shaking and yeah that would get me out of the race so I'm really avoiding caffeine uh, three months prior to be able to fully relax and hydrate myself all the time Think about doing my best. Hindi iba kay Hans ang makatamo ng mga injuries. Pero dahil sa kanyang pagiging fit and healthy, ay mas mabilis ang healing and recovery process ng kanyang katawan. 2018, 2019, um, so it was during um, training days and uh, we were going uh, quite fast. And it's actually not so good. Like, I fell and because of that, I've had like... Um, torn ligaments and like it's a really big accident yeah because I fell dun sa walang pads like sa barriers talaga sa boards and um that caused a really uh, major injury for me I had my foot on cast and you know naka supply for like uh, quite some time before I was able to properly skate again and do my day-to-day -day activities since it wasn't just my foot it was also my hand my knees my eyes like I had I had like two black eyes I'd say that's my most memorable moment and when I got to qualify for Junior World Cup since like it was really the moment where or what I was really looking up to to happen. It was a major injury but hindi naman po na hinahan ng loob since I was really looking up to fast recovery. Doc Raymond actually told me na I'll be able to recover as soon and fast since I'm still young and um, yeah it's just how it works. So I was just really looking up to uh, getting proper rest, proper sleep, getting the fastest recovery as much as I can. Just waited for the moment to properly recover and slowly get back there to be able to train again properly. Para kay Hans, patience is the key to success. The progress you, us you would usually make, mabilis. it would really take so much time to be able to improve. It would take so much training and pain just for you to improve and even comes to a point where there, it'd take a month or more than like three months just for me to see some progress. Even though I'm training as much as I could, as hard as I could, everything aligned. And um, yeah, it taught me discipline and uh, you know the will to still train, to keep my head up and my mind up every time. Like it doesn't matter how much I fail. And um, especially when I was trying to qualify for Junior World Cups, I failed so much trying to qualify. I've been into like four, five competitions until I qualified and um, that took me some time and proper mindset. If God would really give it to you, it's for you. And if it isn't, then yeah. Dagdag pa ng elite speed skater. Proper mindset keeps him motivated. Every time you skip a day of training, another person is training that day and it's gonna surpass you at a certain moment. And whenever I think of slacking off, I would just think about that and say na dapat like training na ako hindi ako nag-skip ng araw at you know just sucking off since maraming skaters out there actually it's it's just not popular here but there's a lot of competitive skaters that train every single day in Korea or other European countries and yeah every day I skip someone there someone out there is doing so much more than I do 
So I have to keep up with that and at some point do better than that. Sa ngayon, puspusan ang paghahanda ni Hans para sa kanyang pagsabak sa mga sunod-sunod na mabibigat na kompetisyon tulad na lamang ng 2025 SEA Games, 2025 Asian Winter Games at qualifying tournaments na World Cup at World Championship Games para makatungtong sa 2026 Winter Olympic Games. At yun na nagtatapos ang ating episode ngayong hapon. My name is Meg Siozon, encouraging everyone to live better.